we need to look at what's going on in the in the population of fish uh, as the water levels decline. Uh, oftentimes the bad things have already happened by this point when you're considering it. You may have had a massive fish kill or you may have noticed uh, that you have uh, fish in your pond that are not the right species to provide good fishing. Fish like common carp or uh, green sunfish, bullheads, and even stunted crappie populations are a major problem in farm pond situations. If you have those then it's probably time to go ahead and pull the plug and start over again. Now the way that you do that is to either drain the pond or pump it or siphon it until it's empty uh, for starters. Be a little bit cautious about where that water goes because that's pretty poor quality water. When you get down to the last quarter or third of the pond that's the sewer of the pond and especially if you're stirring the bottom at all uh, you could cause a fish kill somewhere else by putting that water into a creek or a pond so I'd suggest land applying that water if at all possible. Once the pond is empty I would go ahead and uh, let the bottom crack, let the mud in the bottom crack until it's dry. If there are any wet spots that remain in the pond then uh, hit it with some quick lime so that just you're ensuring that there are no hardy survivors. Uh, mud cats especially are real notorious for being able to survive in those things and you definitely want to get rid of your bullheads and mud cats. At that point uh, restocking of course occurs hopefully after the drain uh, the, the drought is over and you have two choices. You can go with a private hatchery or the free uh, state hatchery fish. Uh, there are pluses and minuses to both uh, routes. But uh, if you do uh, lean towards the uh, state hatchery fish, you should know that you do not have to allow the public to come in and fish your pond. That's a common misperception that I hear all the time. But uh, in order to get those free fish, you are going to have to go to the added trouble of getting together with your local game ranger and having him certify when the pond is empty that indeed it is empty and free of fish and uh, having to fill out that application form and getting it in before June so that you can get in on the first installment of the stocking program that fall. If you do all of these things then uh, there's a, an excellent chance that you will not only uh, 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 be able to have your fishing population recover but you'll end up with a better one than you had before. Mm -hmm.